will you be able to buy a pint in a sports venue without getting anything to eat? But if you order a pint in a pub, you'll have to have a substantial meal. I'll leave that hanging as the great existential question of the day. Madam Deputy Speaker, suppression in anticipation of vaccination is the reason for these measures before us today. But people have been writing to me for months, terrified that a vaccine will be compulsory. And I've responded by saying, don't be so absolutely ridiculous. It could never possibly happen. We're a conservative government, after all. And now we discover, now we discover that a vaccination may be a passport to the acquisition of your civil liberty, liberties, yeah, yeah, yeah. and without which you will have all sorts of things that you would be able to do denied to you. Can I say that that would be absolutely disproportionate yeah, yeah, yeah. to a, a virus with a mortality rate of verging on 1%. It would equally be a terrible precedent to set for other vaccines and medicines. Uh, so I hope that we can get away from that. The way to persuade people to have a vaccine is, of course, to line up the entire government and its ministers and their loved ones and let them take it first and then get all the lovies, the icons of popular culture, out on the airwaves singing its praises. To have any kind of suggestion of coercion absolutely feeds the conspiracy theory that we are being cowed and our liberties being taken away.